Now, if you've played Rugby 20 in the past, you'll know that when it comes to set plays, they are damn near impossible to execute. In Rugby 22, it's much of the same thing, especially since every time you pass the ball, your player's running onto it at what seems to be full tilt. Now, there is a new feature, which I will be showing you boys in a sec, and how I figured this out was, admittedly, I was spamming the pass button, and apparently, if you double tap the pass button, it triggers your player to perform a loop on the fly, and is hands down the best way to create an overlap in the game, and in my opinion, this, uh, this little play is easily my favorite new addition to Rugby 22. Now, I've got around maybe five or six examples of how you could use this uh this looping play a couple favorites for me of when i like to use it would be um off a scrum or off a rolling more since you can't really perform set plays off those uh set pieces and also creating an overlap on the blind side is probably my favorite way to use it uh you'll see in the final play we score a nice one with french scrum half dupont i've recently just learned <laughs> who that was but yeah another decent way to use them but isn't really realistic is with the pod formations they have on the field i think when they're set up with the deep v formation or whatever the v formation is called it works well with that as we score a pretty nice one here with the all blacks on the back of a rolling mall it would have looked much cleaner if Bodie actually went out the back door but beggars can't be choosers i've uh, i've also noticed that there are a, a, a couple of different try uh, uh, i mean a couple of different actual pass animations like this one the one hand is those are pretty cool now like i said of all the new additions this is easily my favorite and um there's actually a few a few little gameplay improvements they've made that's made the game so much more enjoyable to play in my opinion um i'll probably go through that in a later vid this is all about the return pass that's what it's officially called in the game and all you do to perform it is double tap the pass button in any direction i don't think this falls under set play but if it is this is easily the most effective set play in the game. The fact that it can be performed on the fly is what makes it so great. Now I'm pretty much going to cut the com there, but boys stay tuned. We do have some doozy tries coming up. And as always, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more Rugby 22 content or more content in general, I do make uh, mainly Rugby League content, but we're in the honeymoon phase of Rugby 22. Be sure to run it straight at that like button for more. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you later. Well, they're really intent on keeping this ball alive. They pile into the ruck. They're moving the ball well. That worked so well. Oh, it did. They've clearly practiced that move in training. They needed the score, and it's worked perfectly. What a move. Not a great deal of support there. Ball still in their possession. Dupont will get us going again. What a clinical attacking line. Everyone was in the right place at the right time. Well, that break showing that he really is in the mood. Dupont, such enterprise, and it paid off. Let's have another look at that. It was so dominant in that period. Great collective effort to score the try.